Okay, so now we're in the ensuite and we're going to have a little look at the toilet. Um, now there's two parts of the operation here. You've obviously got the inside, the actual toilet that's being used. And then we're going to go outside and have a look at the emptying the cassette um, that the waste falls into. Now, first of all, the toilet itself, you'll see on here, uh, here is the flush button, the blue button there. On the side, the left side of that, um, as the toilet fills uh, the cassette underneath, you will see red lines come up there. You'll get three lines in total, and we recommend that at the second line that you empty the cassette. Don't overfill it and don't leave it till it uh, reaches the third line because it could be difficult to disconnect from underneath. So we do recommend that once you see the second red line, that fairly soon after that, that you do empty it. Now here we have just normal seat lid. Now here is uh, just normal operation with seat. Um, the thing that's a little different about these toilets is that you do have a blade underneath that moves from left to right. Now what that's doing is that is closing the blade inside of here. So when you're not using the toilet and you have flushed the toilet from using it, we recommend or you must close the blade. If you do not close the blade, you are going to get smells and fumes into the motorhome. So when you do finish with the toilet, you must close the blade. When you come in to use the toilet, you must open the blade underneath. So you can see the blade under here just moves left and right. And that will open the blade, allowing you to go to the toilet and then flush. Once you finish flushing, close the blade, lid down, and that is it. Okay, so now we want to talk about the chemicals um, that we're going to put into the cassette and also to clean the toilet. Um, you can see them, they'll be found here on this shelf behind the toilet. Uh, the packets here are sachets. Um, now, they you put one of those into the cassette um, in a moment, we're going to show you the cassette and how that works. You'll be putting one of those in with about one and a half to two litres of water into the cassette. And uh, that's all you need to do with that. Um, then you've got your normal bathroom cleaner, um, which you can use for the lid and the, um, um, the back of the toilet and so forth. So that's that one there. And then you have your standard type of toilet bowl cleaner. And there'll be a toilet brush in here as well. So that's the only products we need you to use in the toilet. We will ask that um, you can spray this and use this directly into the toilet itself. The sachets, though, go directly into the cassette that we're going to have a look at in a moment. Okay, so now we're outside and we're going to go through the procedure with the toilet cassette. So you'll find it on the hatch here um, it's the same key that opens the other hatches so just put it in and turn pull and rotate and pull the flap this is your toilet cassette okay now to remove the cassette make sure that inside the flap is closed the blade or flap whatever you'd like to call it is closed um, before you pull this out also make sure that everybody is aware that you are removing the cassette uh, because you will have a messy cleanup job upon your return um, so make sure everyone's aware you're taking it out um, and make sure that that blade is closed now we simply put your thumb on top and lift here to release the cassette very easy um, just pull the cassette out and we are now going to move to a larger area and we'll have a look at the cassette. Okay, so after you first take the cassette out, we're going to empty the cassette. So obviously go to a dump point and then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate here like this. Before you go and take off the top, just press this button here. And what that'll do is just release any built up air inside so that when you open the lid, you don't get any splutters coming out, which you certainly don't want. So press the button first to do that. Once you've pressed the button, unscrew the lid 
and that's also a measuring cap which we don't need because we're going to be putting um, the sachets inside the actual cartridge themselves. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so that can sit there, take it to a dump point, lift, give it a swish, press the button again as you empty. So as you empty, press the button, empty out until it's gone, then bring it back, okay? This is at this point where you lift this off, give it, um, open the blade up, which is this nozzle here, put a little bit of water in there, give it another swish around and empty again, okay? Then once it's done, you can close the blade and put the lid back on top like that and put the lid back in here, screw it back on, Put it back into position make sure that this nozzle is facing forward because that actually when you put that back into the housing that actually falls into a groove inside the housing so to add the chemicals into the cassette you simply lift this off turn that to open the flap add one sachet in about I'd say probably a, a liter and a half to two liters of water. Make sure that the bottom is totally covered. Close the flap, replace the lid. Now, in some instances, you may find if you find that your toilet is reading that it's full when it's not, and you know that you've emptied it and it couldn't possibly be full, there is a little gauge inside. Um, and I have put another video further on uh, past this video that shows you where that is and how to actually unblock that. It might be that there's some toilet paper caught up in there that you need to release. And in that case, we will take this off here. Now, the way you can do that is, and you do have to be gentle with this because the lids are not very strong on these. If you release it and rotate it to the back, then you are going to turn it this way, uh, the other way here, and that will release the lid totally. And you can now see inside the cartridge. You can also see here, this was the, um, the floater. That is what tells you what level your toilet is sitting at. So if you do get some toilet paper around that and it holds it down, it may say it's full when it's not. So then you just put this back on and screw it back on in position the way we just did it and then straight back into the cassette. Okay, so you've put your chemicals in and your one to two liters of water. Now we're going to put it back in. Now we'll just add to it as well. There is a handle that you can pull out and walk your cassette if you're walking a long distance that just literally pulls out like you know like a suitcase handle um and then you just pop that back in so we're going to pop it back in here now so it's it's the nozzle is facing forward as it should be the lid is on and the blade is shut and you pop it in until it clicks and job done